guys, I just woke up and I'm having some peanut butter toast for breakfast. I'm trying to use up all my crappy Skippy peanut butter so that I can move on to the delicious stuff that I got from Canada. Um, and I'm having another one of the teas. This one is called Bonbon. And it smells really sweet. Whoa, fogging up my lens. There we go. It's from the same company that made the cola one, so I'm sure it's gonna be really delicious. If you watch Taylor's vlog yesterday, she put this little reindeer hat on Rosie and it was too heavy for her little head. So I tried it on Morrow yesterday and I got it on him. Here's a picture of him wearing it, but he absolutely hated it, so <laughs> I felt really bad and took it off right away. But it was really cute seeing him with it on. Now he's in the kitchen enjoying the bag that I brought home with me yesterday. Are you having fun? What's that? Oh, you having fun? He was in here last night too. <laughs> he loves it his new house. Are you having fun? <laughs> You're silly. You're silly. My tea is in there. One hour later and Maro's still in the bag. Maro! Maro! What you doing? Maro! <laughs> he loves it so much. So here's how my extensions turned out. This is after two washes with the lemon conditioner and I straightened them and I've got them all nice and ready to go. So I'm going to try them in my hair. They're a couple shades lighter than my hair, but at least they're like in the same color family. <laughs> they're not purple anymore like this, like they used to be. Um, I didn't worry about the roots because those are going to be hidden. But um, yeah, I guess this is about as close as I'm going to get them without going to the hairdresser and asking them to completely redo it. So I'm going to try these in my hair now and see how they go. These were sent to me by Eva Hair to review. I've had a couple of their wigs before and I really liked them so I'm looking forward to trying their extensions. I've had problems with uh, the clips on some extensions that I've reviewed before. They didn't feel very nice. They were hard to open and hard to like secure in your hair but these ones feel good so so far I really like them so let's see how they look in my hair. I'm gonna like try and blend the colors together as much as I can but it's not gonna be perfect just because the shade isn't exactly like my hair. So here's how they turned out. You actually can't really see too much of a difference like it kind of just looks like I have highlights in my hair you can see the darker color which is my real hair and then the light color which is the extensions but I think they blend pretty well I just put them into pigtails um, but I'm really happy with them I was right the clips on these are really nice they're really easy to use and they're not like like some of them you try to clip them to your head you have to push really hard and it hurts when you're putting them in but the clips on these were really nice and they feel really secure in my head I don't, I'm not like worried about them falling out or anything and I think I hid it quite nicely under my hair. These are a really thick set of extensions like my natural hair is quite thin so this pretty much doubled the amount of hair that I have and I was still able to hide all the clips under my hair so yeah I'm really happy with these if you guys are looking for extensions, clip-in extensions um, I was happy with this company. Out of the ones that I've tried, these ones were um, my favorites, I think. They gave me a discount code for you guys to use, so I'll put it in the description box. But yeah, so thank you Eva Hair for sending me these. I'm so happy that I can have long hair because Taylor made this really cute like Christmas hairstyles video recently and I wanted to try the the fishtail braids but my natural hair isn't thick enough for them so now that I have these I can try it so yay I'm really happy with them hopefully my natural hair will grow this long one day but either way it'll never be this thick so I like using clip-in extensions if you've never tried them I really recommend them they're lots of fun and it's like such an easy way to you can even just add thickness to your hair if you don't want the length you can get them like cut to the same length of your hair and just use them for adding thickness but it's great if you want to style your hair into like styles like braids and stuff because they look a lot nicer when they're thicker but yeah uh, I'm just waiting for a package to come I got another package from one of you guys so it's gonna arrive in the mail anytime now I think within the next hour so I'm gonna open that up when it gets here uh, I've just been editing I'm trying to get a video out on my main channel either tonight or tomorrow 
probably gonna be tomorrow, it's looking like. It's taking me forever to find good music. Ah, if any of you guys are also YouTubers, let me know where you get your music from. It's really hard to find stuff that's like, that I'm allowed to use, that's not copyright, that actually sounds good and is not obnoxious. So yeah, if you know anything, please let me know. I always struggle with that. That's usually the thing that takes me the longest when I'm editing videos is finding like a good song for it. And usually I end up just giving up and going with something that I'm not super happy with just because like I spend hours looking for songs and it's just like an endless process every time. But yeah, wish me luck. I'm gonna go do some more searching for music and what else am I gonna do? Oh, I went shopping, I went Christmas shopping when I was in Shibuya yesterday. I couldn't show any of it because uh, I put out my vlogs every day so I don't want my family and friends seeing them before I give them their gifts. But yes, I'm going to wrap those. Though so my package just arrived and it wasn't just one thing. There's like eight different things in here. Thank you so much, you guys. There's some from Australia. I think there's one from Malaysia in here. This one's from America. Oh my god, it's a Pokemon postcard. Um, let's start with the postcard first. From one Pokemon fan to another. Oh, this is so awesome. From a fan in the USA. Thank you so much. Look at this. Oh, that's so cute. And I love how it's all like the original Pokemon because they're my favorites. Lickitung, I haven't seen him in like years. Next is a card from America, Jeanette and Corey. Charla, wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Aw, thank you so much, Jeanette. That's so sweet of you. Aw, thank you so much. <laughs> I know this name. The next one's from Emily. Emily has a YouTube channel if you guys don't know her. Aw, <laughs> so Australian. <laughs> Merry Christmas! I hope you have a fantastic day and get lots of presents. I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon at another YouTube event. Thanks so much, Emily. That's so sweet of you. Wow, what a nice envelope. This one's from Sweden. Cool. I absolutely love getting mail from around the world. I especially love looking at the different stamps. I used to be like a stamp collector <laughs> when I was younger. I had lots of pen pals and I would just get so excited at seeing all the stamps from around the world. There's two cards in here. This is from Emily, Emily. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, I'm sorry, but what an adorable postcard. Look, look at the adorable little Pikachu sticker and there's some other cute stickers down here. Wow, Sweden looks so beautiful. Thank you so much. And in the other envelope, we have tea, yes! <laughs> There is Earl Grey, woo! Black Currant, that's nice, that'll be a new one for me. Indian Spice, and oh god, uh, Swedish! <laughs> I think it says like spiced apple, maybe? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Quick, Swedish speakers, tell me what kind of tea this is. This one's Masala Chai. Thank you so much, yes! And this next one is from Malaysia. Oh, they wrapped it in a Pocky box. Ooh, there's lots of different things in here. Okay, I see something furry inside. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Did you make this? This is so cute. It's a little, like, furry cat donut. Aw, I hope I can figure out some way to attach this to my phone because I really want to. And it's like my favorite two colors, the cotton candy colors. I love them. And there's Nestle. Oh, Milo powder. I've heard about this stuff. I don't really know what it is. I think it's kind of like a chocolate milk drink. I'm really excited to try this because when I asked you guys for stuff that I should try from Malaysia, someone mentioned this. So <laughs> must be yummy. And I'm a big fan of chocolate milk, so I'm sure it's going to be good. Oh, they drew me a picture of Malaysia. I'm just guessing. I'm assuming. <laughs> That's really nice. <gasps> There's a cake in here. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Apparently this is called a wife cake. What does it say? It is made of cake flour, sugar, and winter melon. There's also a husband cake that is made from fermented red bean curd, peanuts, sesame, 
um, something that I can't read, butter and salt. These two cakes are among the most popular traditional Chinese pastries in Guangdong. You can get them in China, Taiwan, and Malaysia. Okay, I'm gonna try it right now. Mmm, it smells really good. It smells like it would be good with tea. Yum! Mmm! Oh. Tastes like a pie crust. Oh, that's really good! I'm definitely gonna be searching for more of these when I get to Malaysia. <laughs> Thank you so much, Carmen. Ah, I'm so excited to go to Malaysia. Thank you for the sweet letter and the donut cat and the cute pictures. Oh, I haven't shown you guys this one yet. Why are you guys all so good at drawing? Carmen's only 14 years old and she can draw this amazingly. <laughs> Teach me, please. Oh, thank you so much. The next one is from someone in Germany that I know. I met him at the YouTube meetup um, in the spring. Martin, thank you so much. Ooh, what do we have here? Yay! Thank you! Okay, <laughs> oh Jesus. Um, I'm just gonna go by the picture and assume that it's like, maybe mint and some kind of berry. All right, German speakers, it's your turn to help me out. <laughs> Whoa, what a pretty card. Aw, dear Charlotte, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It was nice meeting you at the YouTube Hanami. <laughs> Thank you for having me in your video. Oh, wow. Uh, aw, that's so nice. Okay, so apparently it's a herbal tea which doesn't seem to be available in Japan. Yeah, that's probably true. Herbal tea doesn't really, it's not really like a popular thing here. Okay guys, uh, Martin <laughs> or someone else who speaks German, please tell me what kind of tea this is. I'm gonna try it out tonight. Thank you so much. It means a lot that you guys are sending me Christmas cards. It really does suck that I can't go home uh, to my family this year for Christmas. Usually I try to go home around winter time because it's just like a lot nicer being in Canada for Christmas. It's kind of like boring here. <laughs> the lights are nice. They do lots of like nice light lit up like light displays and stuff, but I don't know. It just doesn't really feel like Christmas here. So getting all these like adorable Christmas cards and letters from you guys is so nice. So thank you so much. Okay. Next we have a gigantic package from Australia that I'm gonna open with my tiny eyebrow scissors. <laughs> Woo! Success. Okay. Ooh. I see Tim Tam. <gasps> yes! Yay! Ah, thank you so much! Oh my god, Tim Tams are amazing. I've had them before and they were so good. This one is double coat, which I guess it means it's like doubly coated in chocolate. Um, original, this is the one that I tried before. So good. Uh, white chocolate. Yum. And this one is salted caramel. Who's Adriano Zumbo? I don't know, but oh my god. <laughs> These look so amazing. Hi, Sharla. Good day and greetings from Sydney, Australia. Oh. There's like instructions on how to eat them the way the Aussies eat them. Okay. Um, eat a corner of the Tim Tam, then eat the opposite corner. Dip one end into a cup of warm milk, coffee, tea, or hot chocolate and suck on the other end. The Tim Tam will act like a straw, drying out the liquid. Once you sense the drink on your tongue, put the whole Tim Tam in your mouth before it melts. Oh my god, that sounds so good. Okay, I'm gonna be eating these Tim Tams <laughs> with my tea from you guys. Oh, thank you so much, Jimmy! Oh my goodness, I have so many cookies to eat. Oh, and some really pretty pictures of Australia. Oh, and the animals. Australia gets like the best animals, but they also get all the bugs. So it kind of terrifies me, but I would love to go there and see all these adorable animals out in the wild. That would be so fun. Thank you so much, everyone. Holy crap. This is like the best Christmas ever. Like I feel sad that I can't go see my family 
Um, but I don't feel lonely at all because you guys are so sweet. And you're always sending me letters and like saying Merry Christmas to me in the comments. So thank you for that. It really means a lot. And I've really enjoyed doing uh, Vlogmas this month because it means I get to like talk to you guys every day in the comments. So I do my best to keep up vlogs. It's not going to be an everyday thing from here on because I've kind of been like not able to work on my main channel because I've been doing vlogmas every day so I can't do it every day but I'll definitely keep up the vlogs because I've been having lots of fun so thank you guys for watching them and like watching every day I see the same people in the comments every day and it means a lot that you watch them every time so thank you so much um, I think I'm gonna go do some more Christmas shopping tomorrow with Kim and Sunny if they're available so I will bring you guys along for that again I won't be able to show you what I'm buying because I gotta keep it secret until I give them away but maybe I'll like take some footage and put it in a future vlog so you can see what I got for people. Hey guys, thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!